In this episode, we will be discussing the Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR. We will begin with an introduction about the institution, followed by timeline and mandate. Then we discuss the structure of the institution, achievements of ICMR, publications, areas of cooperation, importance for India, challenges, and finally, we will end with the way forward. Let us begin with a brief introduction to the Indian Council of Medical Research. The Indian Council of Medical Research is the apex body in India for the formulation, coordination and promotion of biomedical research. The ICMR is headquartered in New Delhi and is one of the oldest medical research bodies in the world. Now looking at its timeline. The origin of ICMR can be traced back to 1911 when Sir Harcourt Butler established the Indian Research Fund Association. In 1918, the Beriberi Inquiry under Sir Robert McCarrison was set up and this later on went to become the National Institute of Nutrition or NIN and is situated in Hyderabad. Post-independence, many research centers were set up in various parts of India. For instance, the Virus Research Center was set up in Pune in 1951. The Contraceptive Testing Unit and Reproductive Physiology Unit was set up in Bombay in 1954. The mandate of the ICMR are formulating, coordinating and promoting biomedical research, conducting, coordinating and implementing medical research for the benefit of the society and translating medical innovations into products and processes and introducing them into the public health system. Let us now discuss the structure of the institution. The governing body of the council is presided over by the Union Health Minister, assisted in scientific and technical matters by an advisory board composed of eminent experts in different biomedical disciplines. The advisory board in turn is assisted by a series of scientific advisory groups, advisory committees, expert groups, task force, steering committee, etc., which evaluate and monitor different research activities of the council. Intramural research is carried out currently through the Council's 30 permanent research institutes or centres, mission-oriented national institutes located in different parts of India. Also, six regional medical research centres address regional health problems and aim to strengthen or generate research capabilities in different geographic areas of this country. Some of the achievements of the ICMR include the development of Covaxin for COVID-19, Shigella vaccine and Genvac for Japanese encephalitis. ICMR also made available affordable technologies like TrueNAT for COVID-19, NIPA, tuberculosis and leptospirosis, COVID coverage, ELISA, etc. The Indian Journal of Medical Research is published under the auspices of the Council. Moving towards the areas of cooperation. The ICMR expands its areas of cooperation by offering positions of emeritus scientist to retired medical scientists and teachers. This enables them to continue or take up research on specific biomedical topics. The Council also awards prizes to Indian scientists in recognition of their significant contributions to medical research and to those who work in the underdeveloped parts of the country. At present, the Council offers 38 awards, of which 11 are meant exclusively for young scientists below the age of 40. The importance of ICMR to India include provision of facilities for research activities and an international fellowship program for research and training, exposure to Indian biomedical scientists in various countries, offering opportunities to scientists from developing countries to come and work in Indian institutes, encouraging human resource development in biomedical research, providing research fellowships, short-term visiting fellowships, short-term research scholarships, etc. and most importantly, 
conducting various training programs and workshops. However, the ICMR also faces quite a bit of challenges, beginning with the process of validating testing kits is problematic. Significant bureaucracy and red tapism and a unique opacity when it comes to sharing data and quality control methods. Post approval from ICMR, a company still has to get an OK from the Drug Controller General of India, which can take up to a week. Companies that send their kits for validation to ICMR do not receive feedback on the accuracy of their kits. They receive a simple pass or fail sort of report. Tests validated by ICMR do not perform well on the field. So what is the way forward? The institute should test enough testing kits as per the WHO standards for checking the spread of diseases. It should decentralize decision making to other institutions. We need to fast track the approval process of testing kits as much as possible. Private laboratories should be given some time to set up and standardize their testing protocols before they can ramp up testing. With this, we conclude today's episode. Till then, stay safe, stay tuned and stay updated. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel Drishti IAS.